This is Ben Workentein. I am sitting down with Adam, Adam and Brett here at Men of His Word Conference. Thanks so much for coming by, guys, and spending a few minutes with us. Absolutely. You're welcome. Glad to be here. We, um, we're kind of showcasing a lot of the speakers and what they're talking about and giving people a chance who maybe weren't able to be at the conference here to get in uh, kind of a glimpse of what's going on. Uh, could you guys just maybe take a couple minutes, introduce yourself and your ministry context, what you're working on right now? Um, well, uh, we, we actually used to be associates at okay. Shepherd Lutheran in Fond du Lac. Um, he, he divorced me and went for uh, the greener pastures of, of Trinity Keel. But um, I, I would say what, what we share a passion or an interest in is um, home devotions or a home spiritual life. Okay. Um, and, and the reason being is having spent time in, in youth work and, and just observing um, just the, the way that God has blessed the kingdom or, or ways that the, the kingdom has struggled is that uh, really it's it's dads that carry all the influence. Okay. Um, uh, you, you, can, you can run a million different programs at church. You can have super pastor, but at the end of the day, it is almost always the dad that will set his children on the course that they will go Sure. Uh, as they think about, uh, really with the whole worldview thing, but our concern obviously is what they think about God. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah. Excellent. And so the purpose of our presentation really was to help engender and give them the tools to be able to carry that out. And to, I think most guys, maybe if they haven't experienced home devotions in their life, probably seem it seems kind of an awkward thing. Sure. It's a little strange. You know, you got the time and, and, uh, and all the priorities of all the different things that are happening in our world. And how do we rank those things and how do we give them the tools to be able to cut through to push through the awkward nature of it yeah. and to be able to do that well so that we can foster faith and uh, continue to bring our kids back to the word. Excellent. So you guys are, I mean, devotion life is so important to every family. Um, what are you, like, give us one tool, one tip, uh, one thing you want people taking away from your presentation today. I, we had a discussion about this, and, and I would say the, the one thing that sounds pretty simplistic is is... Do something. Um, do something. You you can yeah. you know there there are a million different ways to skin a cat, but and, and the reason why this is so imperative is as I think I kind of mentioned it is dads uh, have an imbued influence that pastors and teachers and and even moms just do not have. Yeah. And so uh, you know dads can maybe imagine well I I can be agnostic about this thing. Mom's got the spiritual life covered. Yeah. Little does he realize. Um, doing something or not doing something, his his example is carrying a tremendous amount of weight, mm -hmm. and so um, that that's you know there's no silver bullet. I whatever devotional you want to pick, it's it's just acknowledging Dad, God is uh, per creation um, designed you to be the the leader, and He's built influence into you as that leader, and so utilize it. Yeah. Uh, pray with your kids, have a devotion, yeah. spend time in the Word together. It won't work just to say, somebody else has got that covered. Yeah, yeah. Is there a, so as dads are kind of thinking about this, a lot of our audience are, you know, soon to be fathers or recent fathers. Is there a time that's too early to start devotion? Or when do you start, when kids can start a asking questions? Like when do you, when do you kind of recommend people get into that habit we believe it's important to start right away okay um, right from you know the time now in final act we had a child care center and so it was kind of amazing to see even those infant teachers with kids that are six weeks old they're doing bible stories with them yeah yeah and and why is that well that's building in, in, in them that 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 attitude towards the towards the gospel that that engenders that lifelong um, desire to stay connected and so you know while we we start teaching them as a baby you know it's not all that long after that that when they're one, one and a half, they start folding their hands at prayer time, and, yeah, and yeah. they're starting to ask questions as they get older, and they're, they become verbal. Yeah. Um, no, you start that right away. And so one of the things that we did in Fond du Lac and that um, we're doing in Kiel is giving our, our parents the resources and tools yeah. uh, to be able to do those things. So you have very simplified devotions when they're young. And, uh, and you can continue to grow in that, whether they're pre-printed things that uh, we have some different resources to point to or just yeah. having a conversation with your kids yeah. about how does God's Word apply to your life today and what struggles did you face and how do we uh, get strength to overcome them. Yeah. And, and you can't do it for the kids. I, I think, you know, if, if you approach the whole thing, we're, we're going to do these devotions for the kids kids see it through hypocrisy from mm. a mile away mm -hmm. so in other words it, it, 
What a good thing it would be for the kids to catch mom and dad in the act of yeah, uh, yeah. feeding on God's word themselves. So, it, it, and I guess that's why you say that you're never too young to start because you got to do it for you first. Yeah, that old, yeah. that old uh, illustration of, um, you know, when you're flying on a plane and the, and the steward or stewardess says, when the oxygen is gone, parents, you got to tend to your own yeah, oxygen yeah. needs first before you can tend to those needs of your children. Yeah, if that mask falls, put yep, it on you yeah, and then your exactly, child, right? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. And the same thing applies spiritually. If, if you don't acknowledge first your need to be in the Word and, and y- your kids are going to begin to see, oh, this is something that, that mom and dad do for children. Yeah, yeah. But we'll grow up one day and we'll put the silliness we'll grow behind us. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, I think too closely tied in with that is that idea of your kids are watching you, yeah. right? Yeah. You know, so if you if you come to church and you drop your kids off for Sunday school and you go out and have brunch, yeah, you just sent your kid a message that said yeah. brunch is more important than Jesus for you, yeah. Yeah. and it is just a thing for the kids. And so to to encourage parents to to be in the Word, it's a great thing. Yeah. And, and they're listening to, to or watching Dad more than oh, they are watching sure. Pastor. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, so that's why that's important. Yeah, yeah. It's amazing how quickly they start picking up on some of that. I call it a three-year-old theology. Yeah. When my little guy starts asking me questions, I'm like, I don't know the answer to that. I haven't thought about that. You know, yeah, who right. thinks in a sure. three-year-old mindset? Right. Um, but it really push it, pushed me as a dad. Hey, I got to think about some of these things and I got to, yeah, this is really good for him to be. Now his big thing is, dad, did you know Jesus is God? I'm like, yeah, buddy, that's right. That's <laughs> the first real deal. When you figure out that whole trinity thing, let me know, though. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah. Probably makes more mi- more <laughs> yeah, sense in a four-year-old right. mind that's kind of not, you know, nebulous. And <laughs> yeah. He probably does better with it than I do. <laughs> right. Well, good, guys. Um, if people want to ask you questions or reach out to you, um, find out more, where can they find you? Uh, Pastor Adam Zimpelman. I'm at Good Shepherd Lutheran. You can probably, uh, you know, find some contact information on the website there, uh, gshep.net. Okay, excellent. Brett Nauman at Trinity and Keel, just trinitykeel.com. Excellent. Well, thanks for spending a few minutes with us, guys. Thank you. Have a great rest of your day.